Hello and welcome to the One Life Church devotional series where we cover the entire Bible in 20 months. Great to have you with us today and our chapters are Exodus 19 and Acts 27. Now in both these chapters we see people that come to the realization that they are in need of rescue. That, that they're actually not self-sufficient, that they are not the answer to every one of their problems. And that's really how God expects us to live. An acknowledgement that He is supreme, He is in command, and that we're dependent on Him. There's this delightful text in uh, verse 4. It says, uh, You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you up to myself. So God is saying to the Israelites, I like when you came out of Egypt, they were trudging along the desert. They were, you know, moving through the Red Sea. They, they, they were defeating the Amalekites. But God says, all the while, I was carrying you. He uses this picture of an eagle carrying its young on the wings. He says, that's how we ought to be living, in dependence of God. Now, both these chapters, people uh, are wrecked with fear. Uh, when was the last time you, fear gripped you and you realized you needed some intervention. Well, I'm, I'm in Joburg at the moment. I've left the home that I'm staying in. I had to escape. I'll tell you about that in a moment. I'm, I'm in a park uh, down here and um, I, the reason um, I'm here is that the people I'm staying with are delightful people and they, they uh, have people staying in their home. In fact, they even rescue animals. And uh, last night when I was uh, coming into their entrance foyer, uh, one of their rescue dogs, which was a something little less than an Alsatian, uh, saw me and crept up behind me and latched onto my backside, growling. And uh, he obviously, you know, he was m mistreated in his past, and I reminded him of the person who'd mistreated him, I suppose. But now I'm in the guest. I'm a guest in a home. I I can't deal with that dog, so I've needed help. To get to the bathroom, I needed help to get to the car, I needed help to get to the kitchen so that this dog doesn't take me out. And and uh, I suppose in both these chapters, the, the people that are being written about have come to this realization that they need rescue. And so in the first chapter, chapter 19, Moses is up on a mountain. The children of Israel are in their tents and a big cloud envelops the mountain and the shaking of the ground and crashes of thunder and peals of lightning and the children of Israel are trembling because God had already told them, you can't come into my presence like you are. You, you need to be washed. You need to stand off the mountain. You need a mediator. Obviously, that's the, um, the message of the Old Testament that we've needed a mediator with God. In this instance, it was Moses, but that was a very temporary mediation. And that's the story of Jesus. Jesus has come as our mediator. We're in need of rescue. It's a fearful thing to come into the presence of God. And now because we have a mediator going on our part, the Bible says we can come into his presence with boldness, like, like little children running in. Like yesterday, I was able to yeah, at least go and enjoy a conversation with the hosts of the home because the dog had been taken care of. Chapter 27 has got a pretty similar theme. Uh, Paul is on his ship and uh, on his way to Rome. He's a prisoner. But he's got huge favor with the centurion there, Julius. He's got some friends on that boat with him. Aristarchus is there. And um, anyway, a great storm hits and fear hits these sailors. I mean, they're terrified. They throw their cargo overboard and they throw their supplies overboard. And, and, and Paul is calming them all down, saying, listen, God, God is going to intervene. They cut the anchors loose, four anchors. And this is off the coast of Malta. Interesting enough, we have a church plant there in Malta. And when I was there visiting Andre and Nadia, they, uh, they explained to me that these four anchors have been found, actually. Uh, and you can go and see them in a museum, cut loose as the ship ran aground. Now, half of them couldn't swim, but uh, God rescues all of them. So what we see here is God in charge of the elements. God is the one who says, listen, I'm going to rescue you. You've got to listen to what I'm saying. The message out of both these chapters are the, is exact opposite to the world's message, actually. The world says, be your own boss. Look after yourself. You're the captain of your own destiny. Uh, be self-sufficient. Whereas these scriptures say God's in command. He's in command of the elements. Uh, he's awesome. He's fearful. 
and uh, we need his intervention. And that intervention has come in the person of Jesus. And Jesus has introduced us to the Holy Spirit. And so we have direct contact now. It's like this, things that cause fear, like this wolf dog that's been getting at me the last 24 hours is kept at bay by our mediator, Jesus.